Yep, here comes the Fort Cavalry stage, right on time. Moving along the lonely road through Indian country, heading west. Hurrah! Hurrah! Gotta reach the Rocky Mountains by sundown. Up on top, you could be anywhere. The trail doesn't have any signposts after you leave Fort Cavalry. You could be anywhere on the Great Plains in the 1800s, when the West was really wild. Now, this may be Indian territory, and it may look like the Old West, but the time is today, and the place is Freedom Land, a big entertainment park in the Bronx, in the state of New York, just half an hour by subway from Times Square in New York City. Here, they built the places and the buildings representing 200 years of American history. And riding shotgun across the Great Plains is only one part of the story of our country. Hey, what's happening over there in Chicago? Fire! Look at that! It's the Chicago Fire of 1871. Hurry up, men. We're going to need volunteers for this one. Everybody man the pump. We've got to get water on the fire or the whole city will go. Faster, men. Keep that pump going. Mrs. O'Leary's cow has kicked over a lantern, and the flames are spreading fast. Keep that pump going back there. It's getting out of control. This fireman doesn't look very worried. Here at Freedom Land, they have the Chicago fire every half hour, every day. And the gas flames behind the windows of those fireproof buildings always go out on schedule. But it's lots of fun because it's make-believe. In Chicago, in 1871, they didn't have fireproof buildings. And the big fire was an important event in American history, brought to life at Freedom Land. Down on Cortland Street, they built little old New York, just the way it was between 1850 and 1890. In those days, horse-drawn trolleys were the latest thing for short trips in the city. If you had to go out of town, maybe as far as five miles, you rented a horse if you didn't have one of your own. If you planned a real long trip, a hundred miles or more, you took the train. There's the Santa Fe Railroad train, getting ready for the long, dangerous journey to San Francisco. Here's another way people travel in the 1800s, on a stern wheel steamboat. All aboard! The paddle wheel starts turning, and away you go. Traveling along, you can get a good idea of how our country looked in the days when there were only a few roads and the stern wheelers and river boats were used to carry most of the heavy freight. The bow of the boat is a good place to stand if you want to see what's coming up around the next bend. If your mother lets you stay there. <laughs> There's the Santa Fe Special, heading west, just like the days when there was only one railroad line from coast to coast. On board one of the big stern wheelers at Freedom Land, you take a trip back to the days when there were only a few cities on the east coast of our country, and most of the land west of the Mississippi was a wide open frontier. So let's go ashore and see some of the other reminders of our past here in this showcase of American history. In the untamed Northwest, you can take a ride in one of the bull boats, traveling past the trapper's cabin back to the time of the historic Lewis and Clark expedition. You'll follow the route of the fur trappers, who were the first white men to see many parts of our country because they had to move farther and farther away from the new villages and towns to trap and hunt. Look, there's a moose looking us over. Don't move, he might charge the boat. There's an Indian carving a totem pole in a village just as it might have looked to a boatload of fur trappers as they kept pushing northwest. These Indians look friendly, but no telling what's coming up around the next bend.
If you want to see more of Freedom Land, the best thing to do is go up, way up high. Riding in an ore bucket from the Tucson Mining Company, high above the buildings and the people. From here, you can see most of Freedom Land and pick out the spots you want to visit next time. 205 acres of fun and tradition. From San Francisco in 1906, across the Great Plains of the 1800s, through the old southwest of 1890, to the not-so-distant future at Satellite City. 200 years of American history. From the days when herds of buffalo roamed the west, to the present and beyond. There are thousands of things to see, too many to look at on this trip, but all of them are fun, and all of them will help you appreciate the facts in your history books. This is history brought to life. The history of the country that gave this place its name, Freedom Land. Now it's time we got back on solid ground again, back to the Bronx in the state of New York. So long.